Well, some sun is better than no sun, and that's what we've got so far today. That's right. We had a first half of the day sunny. Now we're kind of losing that as clouds have taken over. But uh, we're looking at days ahead of us, uh, a little brighter, a little cheerier. And this morning was a beautiful morning. Look at the sunrise, a uh, gorgeous start to our Monday. Uh, temperatures uh, actually started the day in the mid 20s. Uh, things are improving uh, even as we speak. Cloud Kipper begins to take over. Last couple of frames of imagery. You see those cirrus clouds come in, and now it looks solidly gray from the studio, looking southward with our Lewiston Auto camera. Overcast uh, and becoming breezier. A cold front right now working its way through. The winds uh, have picked up a bit from the north. Uh, still doing well with temperatures. They're leveling off around 33, and from here we'll begin to drop down a bit. By the end of the day, around sunset, we'll be in the 20s, and by late tonight, we'll be in the bottom half of the teens. So definitely looking progressively colder and more February like the temperatures uh, so far not half bad. We started the morning before sunrise in the upper 20s. That's warmer than the average high for this time of the year. Bottom out at 22. Now we have a little bit of a recovery, but again, going forward, it's going to be breezier and cloudier. 33 right now, 23 the wind chill. Winds 15 gusting to 20 miles per hour. At times later today, gusts around 22, 23 miles per hour will be pretty commonplace. So on the map though, most spots in the 30s at this hour, 33 in Rochester, Austin 36, it's 40 in La Crosse, 10 degrees cooler than they were yesterday when they came within a degree of tying the record of high temperature. La Crosse reached 50 yesterday. We had 42 here in Rochester. High clouds thickening now. We have a little bit of snow north of us. It's all going to stay north. That band of snow edging its way eastward as this cold front sweeps southward. The second front in two days. The first one that went through the area yesterday, of course, ahead of that front, still balmy in Peoria, 52 there. 30s more uh, common in Iowa, northern Illinois, Wisconsin. Behind the second front, look at the teens and 20s. That's what we're facing over the next couple of days. Not strange for this time of the year. You knew it happened eventually. Uh, today, kind of the, the, the middle range day, the, uh, the go-between day, or the uh, transitional day. We're going from the 30s and 40s over the weekend to the more typical 20s. We're going to have those uh, bands of clouds, chilly winds today. Uh, seasonably chilly this week, though. We're going to have a fair amount of sunshine in the next few days, and then we'll wait until the very end of the week to see any snowflakes. So pretty quiet week, pretty tame week for the most part. Aside from these raw winds, it will be a little gusty toward the evening hours. Times 25 miles per hour or so, dropping to the 20s for the evening. Wind chill levels in the teens and eventually single digits by tomorrow morning. Future casters at front uh, moving it through the area. A lot of clouds in place for today and tonight. Then by afternoon, we start seeing the clouds begin to break up. High pressure working its way and the winds slowly diminishing. See that afternoon sunshine on Tuesday, as we'll see uh, have a chilly breeze. Daytime temperatures, though, only barely getting to 20 if we're lucky. And it looks like we'll have an even colder scenario on Wednesday. Very light winds, temperatures just above zero, and a slow warm up from there. We'll be in the 20s and then seeing a shot at maybe 30 by the weekend. But going forward for the rest of this week and next week, really more seasonable, but by the second half of the month, middle of the month and the second half, there are signs that we're going to have colder than normal weather. Not extremely cold, but Maybe not even as warm as the mid and upper 20s that we've been experiencing recently. There are signs of that from the Climate Prediction Center outlook, and uh, that is a little bit off from what uh, Punxsutawney Phil has been saying. So we're looking at that, but uh, you know, it, it happens. And he's also in Pennsylvania, so hard to predict the entire nation's weather at one time. But for us, it's going to be more typical. Not a lot of early signs of early spring anyway. 20s for most of this week which is typical uh, for this time of the year. 33 in Rochester and edging downward today. 36 in Winona. Temperatures easing down with those brisk north winds and again, increasing cloud cover. Tonight, gusty and cold, 12 degrees. Wind chills in the single digits. And tomorrow, 19, but diminishing winds. Some sun in the afternoon. Seven-day forecast looking at sunshine. A slight chance of very light snow on Friday. Very light stuff there. And better chance of maybe some accumulation on Sunday. But that is after social lights. We're looking at pretty good weather Thursday Friday and Saturday and those temperatures hard to beat for mm -hmm. social ice to keep that ice from melting but keeping <laughs> people from freezing. We don't want puddles at social ice that's for sure. We had that before we don't want that. Yeah it does happen thank you Ted.